Have you ever walked in front of a projector at school or at work and got all that light blasting into your eyes? Well, that is basically texture projection. So we're going to take some image and kind of project it onto something else. One of the really cool things we can do with texture projection is get a person's face back onto the head mesh and that will let us create this big head effect. Let's jump into Lens Studio and get started. Here in Lens Studio, I am starting with a new project. I have imported a few resources though, so that we can jump right into creating this effect. The first thing I want to do is come up to the objects panel and I'm going to add the head mesh. So once it's added, uh, you'll see that head mesh over here and you can see down in the resources panel, we now have a face mesh. So go ahead and select that. And we want to enable the eye geometry and mouth geometry to just fill everything in. So we have our head here, but it doesn't really look like the person. So let's fix that. In the resources panel, add a new unlift material, and then select your head mesh and go ahead and assign it to that material. All right, so it's all blank white. Uh, so let's select our material and get it set up. The first thing we want to do is change the texture to the device camera texture. Now we have the user's face showing up, but the entire texture is kind of being wrapped around the head mesh and it looks really bad. So what we want to do instead is project the camera texture onto this mesh. So to do that, we want to change the texture UV. So the UV map dictates how a two-dimensional texture gets kind of wrapped around a three-dimensional object. Uh, so this mesh UV zero is kind of the default UV map, but what we want is the transformed UV two. So I'm going to select that. We'll lose our texture. And so now I need to come down here where it says transformed UV two and enable that option. All right, so we're right back where we started with the entire camera texture being applied to this head mesh. So what we want to do is we want to change this mesh UV zero to something else. Now we're talking about texture projections. So you might think that projected UV would be what we want, but if we select that, it doesn't actually do what we want. Instead, we want to use the screen UV. And now our head mesh is going to disappear. It's actually still there. It just looks exactly like what our camera is seeing right here. So it's essentially invisible. So let's change our camera input so that we can see our head just by itself. With your camera selected, come over here to the inspector panel and we want to change this clear color option. Now we have a couple options. We can change this to color and just choose a solid color. Now you can see that we have just the head isolated. Now you can sit with black or you can kind of make like a sky blue color if the person's gonna be flying. It can be anything you want. Uh, another option is to go with texture and now we have this input slot. And so I've already imported this texture, so I'm just gonna select that. Now I have a nice space background with the user's head. All right, so at this point, this is the core of the effect. All we really need to do is just add our 3D model and finish out the scene. So I'm going to add my 3D body here. I'm gonna attach it to the head binding so it tracks with the head. Now it's a little big, so let's just scale that down. And since this is a big head effect, we wanna make sure the body's a little too small for the head. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger though. All right, and then we just got to move it, put it into place. And there we go, there is our big head effect. Now, if you want, you can add 2D images, you can add more 3D objects to the scene, just to flush this out. Uh, but the core really is just that head mesh with that unlit material uh, using the screen UV, and then just adding your body, making sure it's a little small to give the illusion of a giant head on the body.